Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is fraction and whole number division. This is uh, lesson 8-4 in our textbook. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's go to that site real quick. I try to do this every few videos. So if you here's MrMathBlog.com. We're in fifth grade right here. So we're going to go down and we're going to upload this in our fifth grade and it's going to go right here. Okay. All right. So let's get back to this here. So uh, uh, our common core strand is uh, given there, and our question here is how can we divide fractions by solving related multiplication problems? So we're going to be using models here, rectangles, and dividing them up into fourths and halves and fifths and all that stuff here. And if you guys can, don't forget to uh, like the video if you find this helpful. That helps encourage me. Uh, to keep making these videos and if you have a Facebook or if you your folks do have them look me up on Facebook also all right let's get started here so so three friends uh, share one-fourth a pound of caramel fudge yummy I love caramel fudge so what fraction of a pound of fudge does each friend get okay so we're gonna divide one-fourth among the three friends one-fourth of a pound among those three friends right there so we're going to let this rectangle represent a whole pound of block of fudge. And so we're going to first divide that rectangle into fourths. All right, so let's divide that into fourths. Just slid that up right there. There it is into fourths. And since we're only dealing with a fourth, we're only going to be focusing on this fourth of a pound right here. Now it says divide each fourth into three equal parts. So we'll just draw a line right about here all the way across and another line right about here all the way across right there. Okay. So now the rectangle is divided into how many equal parts do you see? Well, I see 12 equal parts right there. So when we divide one-fourth into three uh, parts, we are finding one of the three equal parts. Okay, so we're dividing this one-fourth right here, this piece we're focusing on, into three equal parts. And so we're looking for one-third of one-fourth. because So we'll just focus on this little piece right here. So let's shade this one-third of one-fourth. Okay, and in math, you guys, of means multiply. So one-third of one-fourth is the same as one-third times one-fourth. Okay, so complete the number sentence. One-fourth divided by three. So here's our one-fourth. This is our one-fourth here, and we divided it by three. So we're looking at this little piece. That's how much each friend is going to get of a piece of fudge. Is going to be the same as one-third times one-fourth. And so there are one out of 12 right here. So that's going to give us one-twelfth right there. Okay, so each friend gets one-twelfth of a pound of caramel fudge. Yummy. All right, so here we go. Brett is having a barbecue for his friends. He has nine pounds of hamburger. That's a lot of hamburger. So how many third pound burgers can he make? Okay, a third of pound burger is a big fat burger. So will the number of burgers be less than or greater than nine? Well, since he's doing each pound, he's cutting them up into third of a pound. There's going to be more than uh, nine. In fact, there's going to be 27. We'll find out shortly here, you guys. So we're dividing nine divided by one third. Okay, so we're going to draw nine rectangles to represent each pound of hamburger because there's nine pounds, you guys. Okay, so there's our nine pounds of hamburgers right there. And then this says right here, divide each rectangle into thirds. Okay, no problem. All right, so here's all our hamburgers here. There's three hamburgers there, three hamburgers there, three hamburgers there, and so on right here. So when we divide the nine rectangles into thirds, we are finding the number of thirds in nine rectangles. We're finding nine groups of three. So here there are how many uh, groups of thirds are there? Well, it looks like there's going to be 27 when you count them all up. So there's going to be 27 thirds right there. So complete the number sentence. Nine divided by one third is the same as nine times three. Now what I tell my students is when you're dividing by fractions, actually my students told me this, keep, change, flip. See how the nine is kept? And then we change it to multiplication, and then we flip the 3 over 1. Keep, change, flip. Okay, so 9 divided by 1 third is the same as 9 times 3, which is going to give us 27. So let's answer the question. So Brett can make 27 one third pound hamburgers for all his friends. So... All right, so we have learned how to use a model. We just did that right there on those last two problems and uh, to write a multiplication sentence to solve a division problem. You can hear our birds in the background there. Can you hear them?
so here are two examples here, and they want us to describe these examples here. So they want us to describe what's happening in this example and what's happening in this example. Let's do these one at a time here. So let's look at example A and describe how the model shows that dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by a half. Okay, so I did that over here. So here we first start with a whole and divide that into fourths. So we're focusing on this fourth right here. So here is one fourth, and then we divide that fourth by two because we're dividing it by two. Whoops, I went too fast right there. So then we divide it by two. So that's what this little slice is right down here. And we're focusing on this guy right here. And then this gives us one out of the eight holes right here, or one eighth right here. Okay, and then uh, this next one here says, uh, look at this example and describe how this model shows that dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by two. Okay, so here we have four holes. This is like Brett and his hamburgers. He has four pounds of hamburgers, and he's going to make uh, half a pound of hamburgers. So um, uh, here we have four, and we're dividing it by two. gives us the same as four times two, and there's eight uh, hamburgers in this case, or in any case. So four divided by two is the same as, I'm sorry, four divided by a half is the same as four times two and we get eight pieces right there okay so that's what that says here we started with four holes and we divided each of those holes in halves and giving a total of eight pieces right there all right so remember you guys in the number sentence 10 divided by 5 equals 2 10 is the dividend uh, 5 is the divisor and 2 is the quotient the quotient is always the answer right here so when we uh, divide uh, by whole numbers, the quotient is always less than the dividend. Can you see this quotient number is less than the dividend? When we divide by a whole number, here's our whole number 5 right here, the quotient is smaller than the dividend right here. When we divide um, uh, by a fraction that's less than uh, 1, here the divisor is 1 third right here. The quotient is way over here. The quotient is always greater than what we started with the dividend right here. All right, so that'll help us answer this question. So for the two expressions below, which will have a quotient, remember quotient is answer, which will have an answer that is greater than the dividend, okay? Well, um, this one's going to have the quotient uh, that's going to be greater than the dividend because we're dividing by a number, a fraction that's less than 1. So 3 divided by a half will have a quotient that is greater than the dividend because we're dividing by a fraction that is less than 1. Okay, so when we divide a fraction by a whole number, the quotient is always less than the dividend. So here, when we divide a fraction by a whole number, our quotient is going to be less than the dividends. Here, this would be 1 half times 1 third. Remember, keep, change, flip, which would give us 1 sixth, and 1 sixth is smaller than a half. So when we divide a whole number by a fraction, so here we have a whole number divided by a fraction uh, that's less than 1, the quotient is always greater than, okay? So here we have a fraction divided by a whole number that's going to be less than uh, our, our dividend, and here we have a, a whole number divided by a fraction, and that's going to give us a number that's greater than our dividend. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and I hope you're doing well, and be nice to your teacher. They appreciate that. Take care, you guys.